All right, so we out here and bumper is off. So that's right over there. So um, I'll link a video to the bumper removal process that I just kind of followed because um, that was really useful and uh, I'm not really going to go into it. It did better, way better than I could. Uh, mine would be really jumpy. I'm not really in an editing mood right now, to be completely honest. Not in an editing mood in general, usually. But um, I like their video. It was super... It's not that bad to get it off, to be completely honest. Uh, it really is. You just uh, take a lot of pop clips, the little same ones as the rear trunk liner. You pop those off and then it's just a little nerve-wracking um, taking the bumper out, basically. So if you want to see the actual engagement points that the bumper is using. It is those little suckers there. So these um, will spring down, they'll clip up basically. So when you're taking your bumper off, what you wanna do basically is, I just support the bumper from the bottom, pull up on the bumper with one hand while you're wiggling it out with the other and it should kind of pop free without breaking off any metal. So there's a couple of clips over here. There's like one, two, three, one, two, three, four. They're gonna have to watch. And there are also, where are they? One right there as well. And there's another one. There's another one here. I don't know where it is. And it's not used. There's definitely a clip here as well. So after you pop this one off, after you, you lift up and you wiggle that out, you're also gonna need to lift up around here and then just very gently wiggle that out of this location. What I actually ended up doing for this, which is good to know, is uh, lift it up, pulled it out. I got maybe these two clips disengaged. There's a little divot where you can put your finger in, stuck my finger in there, lift it up, and just made, maintain pressure and pulled a little gently and it popped out of the remaining two. So um, you're, if you're leveraging from out here, you're not gonna, that scares me a little bit, but there's a point where you can kind of stick your finger in there, and pop that out. Do not use anything metal. You don't want anything metal here because you're just gonna mar your headlamp or your, your paints. You, you, I, you should be fine using just your fingers, to be honest, and not even like a pry tool. So pop that out, stick your finger in there. Just make sure you're applying upward pressure the entire time because these clips are gonna be pushing up. So just lift them off the actual clip, pop them out. And then just remember, you also have, at least there's one clip here that you also have to disengage. So also lift up here, pop that out. When this is already pried out, that should disengage here. You just do it on the other side. And then at that point, you just stick your hand in here, lift up, disengage the, the, um, the sort of mount points on the actual um, top of the bumper. And the entire thing should just lift off. Just be gentle. The entire thing will want to flop around. And just kind of set that to the side and do your work. So why am I here? Um, obviously got um, turn signal bulbs, one of those for the rear, one of those is for the front. I don't recall which one is which. Um, I, I've, I'm going to Google that in a moment. So the way you take off the, you, you deal with that is um, the turn signal, what is it? Turn signal housing is right there, that little thing little fin sticking out, you rotate that, pop that out. That's your turn signal. Um, this is kind of what I was alluding to in the past, like trying to deal with this thing. Like it's really tempting to think that you can stick your hand in here and reach it, which you can. It's just that you have like, like man hands, you got like dude hands. You're not gonna be able to really get in there and rotate the thing. You need to rotate it a good like 45, almost not quite 90, but a decent amount to get that to rotate. So if you're a, if you're a guy, you're probably not going to be able to do that. If you're a girl, you might actually be able to, your hands might be small enough to do that. Or if you have like a teenager that you trust not to screw up your car, you can also try that out. If you don't have that on hand, it's just you. Um, this is kind of the best way to do it. So pop that off and you should be able to get access to it over here. Um, if you want to, you can also take the headlamp off uh, the entire assembly. That's pretty straightforward. It will be these two bolts, which are just hex heads, and also this one over here. You take those off and you disconnect the harnesses over here and this entire thing just slips out if you needed to do that. Um, some people have been doing like LED conversions on like older Elantras by doing that. You pop this out and that'll give you access to the headlamp bulb itself. It's kind of a pain in the butt on the Mazda. It's really easy. The past car that I had, um, this is kind of involved. Granted, you're not going to really be in here often. It's not like you're changing headlamps every every like month or so it's kind of a rare event so kind of a pain in the butt but at the least like there's no real hardware um there's just pop clips everywhere to get the bumper off there's two like um what was it eight millimeter head hex bolts you take off on each side that's pretty much it the other reason why i'm here is because of this so the obviously the grill on this thing is freaking huge like i put my hand through that and what kept me up at night is i was concerned like a rock or something would fly through at the intercooler which 
already has kind of happened um, a little bit in some degree in some areas you can see some pock marks that's gonna keep me up at night so I got some grill mesh that I'm gonna go and just um, use some high temp zip ties and just a zip tie behind the actual grill and kind of sandwich it in here try to stop that from happening so um, yeah that's the secondary reason why I'm here I'm gonna change out the head the, the turn signal bulbs and I'm gonna install some grill mesh not here I'm gonna put it behind the actual um, grill itself there's plenty of room there so I'm just gonna go ahead and just uh, rig that directly to the grill and you can kind of see the crash bar foam over there obviously crash bars over here something that's kind of interesting to me I'm not 100% sure of to be honest is I'm not quite sure what this little thing here is I I don't I'm new to these engines so someone correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure like what is it that's the intercooler I might be completely wrong on this that's the radiator not sure what that is I know one of the things here I, I'm not I'm not quite sure I'm still familiarizing myself with these things I'm not sure what this little baby one is over here I don't know if the Veloster ends have that actually but I just thought that was interesting but um yeah uh, it's kind of a short video i'll link out to that video on taking the bumper off it's really straightforward if you know what you're looking for so 